Hello everyone, welcome to a 30 second tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to wrap it. In this video, we will be doing workset configuration. So, what are workset? These are portions in a project that are or can be subdivided within our model. It's the collection of a building elements like walls, doors, windows, or floors, and it, it, it can also be a graphic element such as views or sheets. Now, work sets are usually done before the grids and level. Unfortunately, we didn't do that. So, here's a tip on what to do in case you've forgotten to do work set. Let's give it a try. Now, first we gotta do is either we use our existing schedule or we make a new one and list all of our families using multi-category schedule. So, let's click OK on that. Now, we're gonna be using category. So we know what families that we have. We can use family type, fam family, and type as well. There it is. Now, let's expand our columns here a bit. So we've got all of this. Here's the family that we have in the category, which is listed here. Now, let's first categorize that or sort it via category. Now, this should be a lot better. All right. So from here, we've got everything. Now, let's add another field, which is work set. There we go. Now, currently, everything is using work set 1. So let's go ahead and change that. Here is the button for work set. So simply click that to modify or add new work sets. Now, let's try to add a work set for our walls. We will categorize them or differentiate them with ground floor and level 1. So, let's click here, new. Now, first thing you gotta do when doing a naming for our work set is to make sure you're following a certain protocol or a standard in your BIM modeling execution plan. Same procedure should be done with the naming of your plans views or even families and schedule now since this is just a tutorial trial we will do this something very simple as ground floor walls work sets we'll add another one let's add l1 walls work sets Now, let's just click OK on that. So, this is asking us if we want to use L1 as our current active work set. Just press no. It should be a good practice for everyone. OK. Now, let's look. Let's either use multi category here and look for our walls, or we can use the existing one that we have. So, here we've got everything for our ground floor. Let's add another field, which is work set. Okay, so highlight everything. Click this button right here. And what it does is that everything we've selected in our schedule will be highlighted for us here in the 3D model. So here's all of our ground floor walls. What you see here on, this, on the level one is apparently an edit boundary that we did, but of course we can fix that later on. For now, let's add the ground floor work set for that, which is here. So, use ground floor work set. Okay. Now, once that is done, we can go back here. See the ground floor? Visible in views. If I were to untick this, all our ground floor walls should be hidden in our model. See that? If I were to put it in consistent color, all of our ground floor walls are now hidden, not just in this view, even in other views. So you cannot compare this to visual graphic override, which is this one. As you see here, walls are still here. Even if I were un to untick this and tick it again, it will not appear. So moving on, let's try to do that for our level one as well. So go back here. 
then again add the works field there do the same highlight everything highlight in model just close this now we can add it here and this one now just click apply and that's it so next is you go here hide this as well and that's it that's one of the capabilities of workset so for questions and suggestions please do comment below and if you find the tutorial helpful or even interesting you can support me by liking and subscribing I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.